Hey, what's up? It's your boy, the Dignity Dog. I'm back with another 2K22 My Rise episode. I'm sorry about that little that little snippet of uh, of music you just heard. I opened up my phone to start the timer because I usually time it for about 30 minutes ish. Um, and I had uh, I had a video playing. My bad. Anyways, we're gonna jump into this. I'm gonna talk to Hector. See what he's got going on. Seemed a bit off lately. What's going on? It's just some family stuff. I don't really want to get into it. He's like, he's a luchador, right? I wonder if his family's famous. Dealing with that is sometimes way harder than anything you face in the ring. I hear you. Hey, actually, I need a partner for a tag match. Would you be willing to team up with me? Might be a good way to get my mind off of everything. Hell yeah, I'll team up. Yeah, yeah let's do I it. I could do it. To a tag team Hector and Daga? Um, any kind of strategy you want to discuss before we team up? Maybe Hector will be the one person that doesn't. Um, I want to get you the win? Yeah, sure. All I care about is trying to get you the win. Maybe that will help break you out of your funk. You can get the win, Hector, for That's this one. Not necessary, but for this one, Hector. For this one, Flores. Anything for you, partner? Hell yeah, this is gonna be in an actual way. Hector Flores' is secret? That's the story? Alright, let's do it. Alright, so, uh, I was kinda thinking... I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit more. Look at that new outfit! The new, the, the, the yellow and blue. So I was doing a yellow and, and, uh, black thing. Like an actual yellow. But I, I'm like, I don't really like the black. Maybe I'll put some blue in there. And it just, it looks so cool. I really like it. It's very baby face. And it's weird because I'm in kind of a, oh, hi, Shadow. I'm in kind of a, like, a, um, a transitional phase, if you will, a tweener phase between good guy and bad guy. Um, hi, Shadow. But I'm, uh, oh, Brian Kendrick. But yeah, I'm like, oh, this looks so good. But yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely weird because I'm in this transitional phase of like, I'm getting more aggressive. I think what I'll do is right before I go after the title, I'll, I'll turn heel again. That's the plan. And so I'll just do this little t between phase where like, yes, I'm a face, but I'm a little bit more aggressive. I'm a little bit more, I'll do anything to win kind of deal. Um... And then I'll go full heel. And I think after I win the NXT title, what I want to do is maybe start streaming the game. Because I have a lot of fun making these videos. I love this game. But, JD, who's JD? Jordan Devlin. Oh, okay. I dig it. I dig it. I like Jordan Devlin. But yeah, so I was thinking about maybe starting to stream the game. Um, because I really like this game. And I really like making content for it. Maybe I'll do it like once or twice a week kind of thing. Like, because I'm going to probably be playing this game for like an entire year. <laughs> like, I still haven't even touched the women's my career yet. I, I, I love this game. Like, this game is so much fun. But I haven't, like, I know it's not getting a lot of traction. I feel like maybe if I start streaming it, it'll get a little bit more traction. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Come here, bitch. Oh, he blocks. So, yeah, that was my, my plan initially, was I was like, maybe I'll, I'll go until I get the NXT title. I'll become full, I'll go full heel. And then I'll tour of the islands. Ooh, and then I'll start streaming it a little bit here and there. Because I do, I really like playing this game. It's one of my favorite games. One of my favorite WWE games, 100%. It's so much fun. And, oh, that sucks. I love this new attire. It's so flashy. It, it was definitely not something I could wear as a heel. Like this tweener phase where I'm still a good guy, people like me, I'm doing the right thing, but I'm winning at any means necessary. Like doing the right thing morally, not competitively. 
I'm not a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between Dogar Heel and Dogar Face. Dogar Heel is a piece of shit. He hates everybody. He doesn't care what you think about him. All that fun stuff. Okay. <gasps> Zig Zig. And the moves are a little bit different. You know, I have a little bit more flashy moves as a uh, as a face. Okay. And as a heel, I'll I'll, uh, I'll do more submissions and stuff. Whoa, whoa. Bang a rang. Bop. Oh no. Oh, caught him with the spear after you reverse the code breaker. You reverse the code breaker, so I caught him with the spear, and then we get him up in a TKO. Alright, I've got to have Hector uh, win by pinfall. I wonder, Hector's like kind of hurting. Hey. Weird. Anyways, punch him, Hector. Oh, what a maneuver. Just a punch to the gut. Fucking A1. Ain't, ain't nobody got shit on a punch to the gut. That's gonna hurt no matter who you are. I wanna... I kinda wanna... So, me and uh, Saishu have stopped filming GM mode at this point. Um, I've stopped streaming GM mode, sorry. I, I'm, I really like playing it. I wanna do it again. It was a lot of fun for me. Ooh. A rib breaker? A rib a rib something or other. Alright, Hector. Let's uh let's get Brian back in here because he's he's a little bit weaker. Oh shit. Okay, that was impressive. I don't know much about Jordan Devlin. I don't watch NXT UK at all. I've seen maybe two matches. Um but Jordan Devlin was a guy I really, uh, I really liked, basically, when, like, everything that I've ever seen of him, I've really liked it. He's, he's my, my top guy in, uh, in NXT UK, currently. What the fuck? The only guy I would probably say I like more is maybe Tyler Bate, but, like, Pete Dunne and Walter were my number ones, but they're all off from other shows and stuff, you know? Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna finish him. What's the, what's the finisher here? Brain Buster? Ooh, Brain Buster. Ah. Flores doing some Lucha Libre. Some Lucha Libre camel clutch. Ah, you fucker. Oh, must win by pinfall. Super strange. Oh, Hector scratches the back. That's some heel maneuvers there, heck. There, Mr. Tor. Why can't I put him in his fucking corner? There we go. Tag him. Tag your partner. Tag your partner. Fine, fuck you. I'll beat his ass. I'll beat your partner's ass. I don't care. Tag your partner in. Oh no, don't hurt me. What the fuck is Flores' moves? What is... He's like kind of a heel. But he's not. Like, he's very respectful. But he feels heelish. I don't know, it's weird. Not even a... a not even a chance, Devlin. Not even a fucking chance, buddy. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, that was rough. That was his finisher. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you. I didn't think I was kicking out of that. My arm still hurts from from playing with Saishu the other day. Yesterday. Yesterday was the last time we played GM. So yesterday was the, uh, the, the day that my arm started to hurt because we were playing GM mode and facing each other, actually. Which, if we do play it again, that's something we're going to be doing. Is we're going to start um, playing matches at every pay-per-view. Like one match every pay-per-view. So it'll go on a little bit longer. But it'll be more fun. Yep. Ooh, 
Now I want Devlin in the ring though. Why did I start taunting? What are my uh my my moves here? Frog Splash, okay. Shit. Shit. He's going for a burning hammer. He's going for a burning hammer. Okay. That was rough. Nope, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I, I think I can end him actually here. Donner taking one for the team. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh, reversed it. Burst it, baby. Burst it. German suplex. To play. Glory bomb. Glory bomb. Oh, that's it. It's over. Oh, this is a long fucking move, actually. Hold on. No! Why did I go the other way? Fuck you! Fuck you, Jordan! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Okay. I wasted that. I wasted it. Fuck it! Victory roll! One! Two! Three, let's go. That's a win. That's a win. <laughs> a win is a win. Let's fucking go. Duggar and Hector. The new un Americans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Canadian Duggar and the Mexican Flores. I got it. I got it. Mine and Hector's. Uh, team name our team name is the North and South Connection fucking baller hell yeah I just came up with that I'm a fucking G North and South Connection Hector and Dogar let's see what we've got to say we got here the up there tonight, but I apologize I was definitely not on top of my game hey man I, can tell. I know you said you didn't want to talk about your family stuff but what the heck is going on all right. You have to promise not to tell anyone else about it. Okay. Deal? Yeah, I promise. So my father has been in touch with me lately. I thought you were on speaking terms. We weren't, but since I made it to NXT, he's been contacting me all the time. So why is that a bad thing? Because I haven't been honest with you or anyone else about my background or who my dad is. <gasps> The truth is, I do come from a famous Mexican wrestling family. My father is El Mago Senior. El Mago? I'm confused. What about that wrestler El Mago Junior? Is he your brother? And why hide all this in the first place? Let me explain. When I first decided to get into wrestling, I wanted to carry on my father's name and become El Mago Junior. But my dad didn't think I had what it took to make it and decided to sell the name to the guy who's now El Mago Jr. It really hurt that he put his faith in some strange ones. That That's not even his real son. El Mago Jr. isn't even his, his brother. My own without my father's help or namesake. Wow. Well, I guess that explains why you wanted nothing to do with his retirement show a while back. Exactly. Jeez, bro. It was fine just doing my own thing, but... Now that I've had some success and made it to NXT, my father suddenly wants me to be El Mago Jr. Interesting timing. Yeah. And worse, he's even convinced NXT management it's a good idea. This is the last thing I ever wanted. My father should have no part of my success when he never once believed in me before this. I agree. Expose Hector's secret to the world. I'm going to stay face for a little bit longer here. Okay. 
I think I know how you can get rid of this problem. Like, as in, get rid of my father? <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Not exactly, Point. Hector. No. We just have to take away the prestige of the El Mago name by exposing El Mago Jr. and in turn your dad as frauds. Then, this will all go away. How do we do that? Just follow my lead. In the meantime, we should continue competing on NXT like nothing's up. Like not a thing is going on. All right, I'm. I kind of wanted to expose him, but I'm. I'm. I'm tweening right now, you know. And he's my buddy. Like he's my. He's my new tag team partner. North and South connection, you know. I can't turn on him. All my partners I've ever had have turned on me. I can't be the one to turn on Hector. You know, that's just, it's not, it's not in the cards right now. Maybe, maybe when I get to the, the main roster of, of Raw, and I'm, I'm a full-fledged heel, I'll, <laughs> I'll start turning on everybody, you know? But not, not right now. The North and South connection ready to compete again. Can I win the NXT Tag Belts? Legado, I mean, we're here to fuck up Legado. I've already taken them on, one on one. I've already beat them both one in, in singles a action. Now it's time for the North and South connection to show that the Legado ain't got shit on us. Legato ain't got shit on the North and South connection, baby. Come here, Joaquin. Okay. Oh, the outcome of the side. Oh, so is this gonna be the end of it, really? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dugars got this. Don't you worry, Hector. Okay. Super kick. And then a double. You ain't got a shot, me. Hello? Get out of my way. Oh. This one's a tribute to my boy, Sai Shu. It raid. And then a little kick. And a back flip. German and a little DDT to the foot. Oh god. Okay. 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 Whew. Rough. The judge is a hottie and you can't control your body. Do the freak. Okay. I don't know why I have the Lonely Island stuck in my head right now. Ooh! Catch this? Stunner! Big Rana from the Taller Dogar taking down the, the young lad of Joaquin. I'm sure Joaquin is probably like fucking 15 years my senior. Okay! Oh, okay. Not today. Oh, do you really wanna? Do you want really wanna hurt me, Raul? What the fuck? Stop! Stop trying to pin me. They're just. This is tag team work at its finest. No. Code breaker. And a TKO. Dugar with a huge comeback. Oh, Hector going for the pin right off the bat. 
Wow, Hector steals it for the team, for the North and South connection. Dogar wanted to inflict more punishment, Hector knew. Hector was like, no, he's done. I'm pinning him, I'm pinning him, guy. Don't worry about a thing. Dogar wanted wanted Hector to get, a, get some shine in. Hector came in just for the victory. I really have no reason for the... Uh, I thought he would kick out, that's why I pinned him. <laughs> <laughs> There's no story there, really. I'm, uh, I guess I'm kind of... Uh, okay, I guess I'm kind of uh, playing into the Duggar's aggressiveness here with that story of, of Duggar wanted Hector to come in, get some more work in on Legato, but Hector knew, like, no, they, they, can, they can stay down for this and cover them up. But Decagon tweets, Hola, El Mago, check yourself out of the retirement home because me and my partner want to face you and your son, El Mago Jr., who are Decagon and La Venganza? Never heard about you two before. Might not know about us, but we know everything about you and Almago Jr. So I guess you want us to spill the frijoles. I suggest you accept the mask. I demand to know who this is. Find out who we are if you beat us. Let's make it mask versus mask. Loser reveals their true identity. You know Almago is retired, so leave him alone. Not worth it, right, Padre? Some things are worth fighting for. And besides, the people miss me. So we'll do it. We and the entire world will see you soon. All right. It's Decagon and La Venganza versus El Mago and El Mago Jr. I have no idea who those people could be. Plan is working so far, La Venganza. My dad reached out about what to do. I told him to take the tag match win and then it would be the perfect time to capitalize on the publicity and become El Mago Jr. in NXT. What happens if Decagon and La Vengaza lose the mass match? Yeah, the whole plan kind of falls apart if we lose, so don't let that happen. Okay. Hmm. Do I get to wear a mask? So do I get to wear a mask? Do I, like, does it give me a mask that maybe looks like my own? Oh no, we're just the generic luchadors. Okay. Generic Lucidors. Damn, Duggar looks good in red, though. I, I gotta give him that. Red just kind of suits him. It's weird how Almago's wearing the... Or not Almago. Uh, Hector's wearing the black, though. Kind of shows that he's, he's a little bit darker. Is he gonna turn on me here? If Hector turns on me, I'm fucking done. I'm done like dinner. <laughs> I'm, I'm never trusting anybody again. I'm going full heel if, if, if Hector turns on me. If the North and South connection gets broken up by a heel turn, I'm, I'm, I, I don't think I'll be able to do it anymore. I won't be able to trust anybody. If the heel turn isn't my heel turn, you know what I'm saying? That's it. So this is Almago Jr.? Possibly? And this Almago? It's weird, because this... I'm, I'm not sure if you can hear the theme music or not, but this was my theme music. Oh no, this is Almago Jr. This was my theme music in WWE 2K19. Now it's, um, it's Happy Song. Because you can actually use the licensed music. But like, this was my theme music in WWE 2K19, so it's real strange hearing it from two just luchadors, you know? Alright, let's do it. You can kind of see the doggers' hair poking out. It's okay. That could be anybody's hair. Just kidding. DDT. Oh. Almago taking it to Dagger. Taking it to the diggity D. A double G. Or. Or sorry, Decagon, D-E-C-A-G. D 
Decker guy. Get off me. Catch this. Oh. Oh, he didn't catch it. He let it go. Big knee? Oh, that knee looks looks kind of familiar. No, I can't be. That That guy signed to, uh, to WWE. Oh, an inverted Alabama. I got to use some, uh, I got to do some flippy stuff here. Oh, Amago is, uh, is really reversing everything. Everything I got for him here. Oh, a backflip? A German? That is, that is 100% a former Universal Champion. A, a former, one of the greatest ever Intercontinental Champions in WWE history. That's something he did all the time. Oh, but he's doing some flippy stuff now. Ooh, big flippy stuff. Ooh, some heel flippy stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> I went for the... De Decagon going for some sort of uh, some sort of maneuver there. He was jumping at him, and and El Mago Jr. went off the ropes, caught him in midair. Ooh, I don't know what Decagon was going for there, but oh, a big Rana by by El Mago Jr. Oh, Mago Jr. is just staying on top of Decagon. Big, big whip into the corner. Nope. It didn't quite get there. Ooh. Decagon's hurting. He needs to tag in Venganza. Sooner rather than later. Oh, big, big, big lung blower from Decagon. A big, giant lung blower from Decagon. Just lifts him up and tosses him down like it's nothing. Ooh! Mago Jr. He's, he's taking it to Decagon. Oh, looks like Decagon got the better of this exchange. And another German! Decagon showing some technical prowess. Oh, and a 450! That's, a, that's the Lucha Libre we like to see. That's the Lucha Libre we like to see. And here comes Venganza. Let's see what this Luchador has to do. Ooh, big running dropkick. Ooh, a European uppercut. It's weird that, uh... That Flores has like a heel move set, but he's a face. It's it's very strange to me. Oh, Mago Jr. dodges out of the. Oh, and another another sunset flip. This match is insane. Lots of high flying action. Oh, Mago Jr. reverses the the kip up from Venganza. Big falling drop kick! Wow, something another luchador, a one El Generico would be very excited to see. The giant falling drop kick! Oh, I don't know what happened there, but that was cool. <laughs> no idea what that was, but it was pretty damn cool. Oh, Amago Junior reverses what looked to be the signature. A big running lariat. Another falling drop kick. Venganza is going up top. A big frog splash. Oh. Venganza kicks El Mago Senior. Venganza's not done a victory roll. Hold on, this looks familiar. We just seen this on NXT television. A big win from a victory roll. Hmm. They didn't get the win off of it though. Ooh! Amago Jr. reversing. Amago Jr., a super resilient fighter we're learning tonight. 
is doing it all for for the for the team. Amago Senior has barely stepped foot in this match. Amago Junior is taking the hurt. Oh, Venganza getting out and a big drop kick. And here comes Decagon again. Oh, a big neck breaker! A big neck breaker! Amazing. What am amazing athletes these two masked men are. These two mysterious masked men. I'm in full kayfabe right now. <gasps> Tiger Bomb! Wow. Oh, in between the knees? And a drop? Amazing work by both of these. Wait. Hold on. This man's moveset is way too familiar. And he's, you know, not to like bring race into it or anything, but he's very white. I don't think he grew up in uh, in Spain, in, in Mexico at all. A big Rana though. He's pulling off the Lucha Libre moves though, like he, like he grew up in the Lucha Libre style. But a lot of his moves, they have a, a twist of a former, oh he's going for this, this Alabama Slam again, of a former Universal Champion. And another for DDT. Oh. It looked like Decagon was going for something big there. Something massive. And Almago Almago reverses it. Oh, Almago, he's bringing in he's bringing in Pops. Pops is first time really in this match here. But no. <gasps> What's this? TKO. I think I know who's under that, that Decagon mask. But who could be? Who could be his tag team partner? Are we witnessing the North and South connection? <gasps> gory Bomb! This has to be the North and South connection. After the Gory Bomb, he goes for the Brain Buster. He's going for the Brain Buster. But El Mago Sr., he counters it. He knows exactly who he's fighting now. This is a special treat we've got here. Oh! Almago hitting the Fallen Dropkick. This is a special treat we've got here tonight, though. North and South Connection, it feels like they could just be huge fans of the team. But it feels like North and South Connection from NXT are here in Mexico. Ah, oh, shit. I'm trying not to lose now. I was getting way too invested in the kayfabe, and then Almago Sr. just started whooping my ass. <laughs> A dirty pin. All right, Junior. Count it. No. Oh, and Decagon coming out of nowhere. Oh, Amago Senior coming out of everywhere. Bodies are flying around this ring. Oh, Venganza's not doing too well though. I think he needs to tag in his partner. Decagon's coming in. A quick tag. Super kick. <gasps> and another super kick. Just walking across his body. Oh, the disrespect from Decagon. And another Rana. No. Amago Jr. catches him. It doesn't let him go all the way down. Power bomb. Oh, Decagon says catch this. And he caught him with the stunner. Crossbody from Decagon. Uh oh, Amago Jr. reverses Decagon's straight right punch. Ooh, what a DDT! How innovative by Amago Jr. 
And another one? Another spike run at DDT. Oh, Dekagon, Dekagon and, uh, and Vengaza, the, their team is not doing so hot anymore. Amago Jr. thinking it's it's time, but it's not. You can't keep can't keep Decagon down. Oh, the big big Papa's coming in. Oh, Decagon laying in the boots, kind of positioning him. Where's he going? He's going to the other side of the ring. Are we about to see a coast to coast? Wow. Absolutely amazing. This team, Dekagon and Vanganza, Almago and Almago Jr., just absolute pros of this sport. Amazing match here. Dekagon's going back up top. Going for another forfeit, eh? One, two, Oh, Dekagon pins Almago again. No, Almago kicks out. Another one? No. Dekagon says no. Another another kick to the knee. A little bit of a backflip in a German. Dekagon's back up top. Oh, he was going for a big elbow drop. <coughs> Sorry. The, the announcer voice is really getting to me. Ooh. Yikes. Dekagon just got hip tossed by Almago. I can't help but to, to, to show my bias here towards these new these up and coming new luchadors. Oh, what's Dekagon doing here? A springboard drop kick? Um absolutely amazing. Oh! Nobody's home. No water in the pool, if you will. One, two, three. Oh, I don't know what Decagon was going for there. Stoner! Alright. Decagon. Throwing him into the corner. Tagging in Venganza's uh, once more. Big tag team chemistry by this duo. Hold on, hold on. Just give me a second here. I'm breaking kayfabe a little bit here. I need to see what flying elbow and 0450 splash. Oh shit, I don't know what his is though. Uh, front flip clothesline invert, inverted 450. All right. <laughs> Big turnbuckle drop kick by Venganza. Oh, he just stole Amago Jr.'s finisher. One. What? Decagon just. <coughs> Decagon just, just stopped the win from the team. I don't know what's going on here. But Venganza, he's going for something else. A huge brain buster. There's nobody in the corner. Oh, a muggle coming in for the save. No, couldn't get there on time. This new luchador tandem of Decagon. And uh, Venganza beat Amago and Amago Jr. Before we get to the unmasking, we have something else to reveal. Elmago Jr. isn't who you've been told he is. He is not Elmago's son. And we can prove it now. Some white dude? White dude with blonde hair? Doesn't look like he's from around here, huh? And neither am I, but you know. That's because El Mago Sr. hired him to play the role. It was all a scheme. 
to capitalize on his own notoriety, to lie to you and steal your hard earned money. Amago doesn't want any of it. Oh, he's already brought enough shame upon himself. No need to unmask him and pile on. But if these fine people here want to let him know he's a fraud, I'd be okay with that. Fraud. Friday. Oh, Friday. 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 All right, that's the end. That's that's the end. That was a long ass match. All right, story complete. Hector's secret. All right, that's gonna be the end of this episode of My Rise. I know it was a long one, but that was a really cool story. I was really into it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. All right, peace.